What's going on YouTubers? It's Dre coming at you again with another update video for one of the new projects I'm working on. And today what we've got is the Enjora uh, SEX10 front axle. Uh, we're going to break it down, check it out. Just got to let you guys get a quick look at it right now before I take everything apart off of it. Uh, pretty much it looks, looks like the normal one, but at a lot cheaper price. So I'm going to take everything apart, let you see what it looks like, see what's in it, and we'll go from there. YouTubers, we're back. Everything has been torn down. Uh, the reason why you're looking at pretty much is just a spot in the uh, RC garage floor is because I was going to do each uh, individual section uh, to itself. So first thing we're going to look at is the steering links. They pretty much look like the axial links. Pretty good quality. The eyelets are good. Not bad at all. And then we've got this part here. Yeah, like this. You guys can see a little better. I mean, pretty decent quality stuff I'm looking at here. So, so far so good on the steering. Now, next thing we want to look at. Um, let's go to the knuckles. Knuckles look pretty good. Got the regular diameter bearings in it. And yes, they are metal shielded not rubber and that's on both sides guys so metal shielded on both sides make sure you guys can see that get this old camera in focus so we're looking good on those and as far as the pins that hold those knuckles on they've got the little spacer part in there with the screw already can't really lose them you know <laughs> if you're using a magnetized uh two millimeter uh, hex, which is what every bolt on this uh, particular axle uses, then you'd be great. Okay, um, let's look at the the chucks here. As you can see, this is the one with the uh, panhard bar mount on it. Pretty good quality. I mean, the plastic feels hard. It feels sturdy, not necessarily brittle. It does kind of got a, a little of a flex to it, but not real brittle. So I'm thinking these things are going to be, this axle is going to be pretty good. And uh, it did come with CVDs. Look at that. Nice little CVDs. No uh, hex pins or hexes, but it did come with CVDs. And let's go to the end on that CVD. Okay. So far, so good, guys. Endora, Endora. Is doing a pretty good job um, now even on the axle itself it is one part um, let's put this cap back on here so I don't lose anything definitely don't want to lose anything on a new product oh okay so back to this we've got the um, axle shafts pretty normal I did take these off they are right here so I've got both of those. So therefore, if you already have one, this would be a great backup axle to have. Um, you can see you can bolt pretty much everything up to one of the new Pro AR44s. So that'll be great. Now the next thing I'm sure you guys all want to know, what do the gears look like inside? So here we are. That's what it looks like. It is greased up a little bit. So that won't be a problem turns very good almost quiet almost completely quiet in there of course that's with the cover off but it was just as quiet with the cover on so there it is guys the new Enjora check it out there's a link at the bottom down there in the description box I am sure to put that in there so um, if you need a good axle I mean I, I use Enjora products um, they're pretty pretty well respected here at the RC garage so on that note you guys keep making it do what it do and i'll catch you on the next video